When I think of Connie, the first word that comes to my mind is love. She is a very loving person, very connected with her family as well as her family connected with her. My mother was the best mother to have and uh, very privileged to have her as a mother. She was my buddy and I mean I have a lot of friends but my mother was the most loyal of, of my friends. She would tell me all the time what a great mom I was. That meant the world to me as a mom and I always felt that I again had her support. Are again, that's the gang. She lived with me for almost two years and um, a very easy person to live with but very difficult situation because I was still working part-time and you couldn't leave her alone for more than two hours at a time. In some sense I felt somewhat selfish because my lifestyle had changed but I also felt that I wasn't able to provide for her what I felt she needed. So I called my sister and my brother and I said, I think it's time that we look for some place for mom to live. And uh, it was not easy, but the staff made it easy mm -hmm. for us. And we felt that she was safe. The family just really wants to be sure that we're able to connect um, with their loved one and provide those you know, social needs, those physical needs. <laughs> They had her making pasta. <laughs> and you threw the whiskey? Oh my God. I know, I know. <laughs> she doesn't need any cueing. Connie sees, you know, what she needs to do, and it's just like, it, it's all memory. It's amazing to watch, really. You whisk a whole. There you go. Teamwork. Here was a woman who was excited about seeing my mother making pasta. <laughs> so that connection again the staff really relates to my mom. Yeah, that's perfect, that's what he wanted to do. From the moment I, I met Connie, I, I felt a connection to her. She reminds me of my grandmother very much. She laughs constantly, so she's always, she's always a light upstairs. And if she is having an off day, she can go to her room and say, okay, these are my things, I'm safe, I'm supposed to be here, everything is fine. The most important thing is to bring that resident's belongings. You know, it makes them feel that sense of home. When my mother says she's going home, we say, Mom, this is your home. Don't you see that's your furniture? And she said, oh, yes, that's my bedroom furniture. I really think it's important that what she lived with is there. All you. That's me. <laughs> we have a, a small little photo album in there that we will share when we go to visit with her. I'll take it out and I'll say, this is your granddaughter. And um, just to constantly remind her of who her family was. I had two children, David and Andrew. Yes. Very good. It is a difficult decision for a family to make, but when I look back on it now, sometimes I feel like um, if you don't make that decision, you're not doing your loved one justice. I feel like she gets so much more here than she would have gotten living with one of us. You get emotional sometimes, you know. You have such a connection with, you know, with the residents here um, and with the families here, and they become one of your own. There's nothing better than leaving here and knowing that my mother is treated with dignity. And that brings a tear to my eye.